Okay, in this one, what we're going to do, we're going to check the thermostat. On the Room 60, the thermostat is a single thermostat. It's inside this housing here. So to remove it, I've got a metric set, 21 millimeter socket on the back here. Be a bit careful because it is plastic. Left hand thread and remove it fully. Finished off by hand. And inside here is the thermostat. It's retained with a spring, which we'll put to one side in this tub so we don't lose the parts. Inside there, you can see the back of the thermostat. And depending on how stuck they are, they'll either come out by hand or you can use some long nose pliers and just tease it out. I think in this instance, we're gonna to have to use long nose pliers and we'll just tease it out. So I'll try and remove it now one handed. I'm holding the GoPro. Be very careful because I don't want to damage it. So just gripping it lightly on the uh, on the front there and we'll just remove it. And there you go. I'll put that in the tin and then we'll have a closer look at it. Okay, that's it removed. I'll just give a good a visual inspection first. Looking for any damage, major pit and corrosion, and it looks alright. Seal on there is looking okay as well. A bit of drying of um, salt water. Inside the housing as well, doesn't look too bad. There's a small bit of sediment in there, nothing to be concerned about. So the water passages look okay. What we'll do now is I'll we'll go inside and we'll test it with some hot water and make sure the valve is actually operating. So this is by no means the factory way of testing it. All I'm, all I'm concerned about is the valve opening and closing. In the manual, there is a step-by-step -step of how to do it, the temperatures at which it should open, and the, the lift on the valve itself, how many millimeters it should travel. Um, I'm not really interested in that. This is just a quick way, if, a do-it-yourself at home kind of way, if you haven't got the book or access to the internet to find the, the information required. I boiled the kettle recently. So it is still hot and slow it down there and get it back for the steam. And we're just going to pour some water in to cover the thermostat and we should be able to observe the valve lifting on the far left. So as the hot water covers the wax or the thermal material inside, it should start to expand and push the valve open. Just clean the lens there. If you can see there on the far left, the valve has opened now. Like I say, in the book, if you've got the service manual, there will be information as to what temperature it will start to lift and how far the travel of that piston should be. Um, like I say, we're not overly concerned about that. All I want to know is that it opens and when it cools down, it closes again. So I've removed the hot water there now and over time, that valve will close. To aid it on its way, we can put some cold water in, which I'll do, just to show you how it closes. And there you go, you see it retracting straight away. So this thermostat, I'm happy to put it back in. I don't think there's any need to replace it. And we can change the seal on the back cover, put the spring back on, and then replace the cover, and that's it done. So after testing the thermostat, We've got a little o-ring here we'll just pop this off the old cover and i've got a new o-ring which we can just roll over the top there and now it's time to put the thermostat the spring and then this cover back on in the reverse order that we took it off so we'll replace it now the heat sensitive material goes in first with the valve facing outwards and we'll just pop that back in We've got the spring which retains it in its position and we've got the plastic cover with the new o-ring which we'll put over the top and we'll start off by hand it is plastic thread so we want to be very careful we don't cross thread it and we'll just wind that on as far as we can by hand pretty much all the way and the last bit we'll snug it up with a 21 millimeter socket It is plastic, so once you feel the resistance, just give it a little nip like that, and that's it done. Don't go pulling it 
tight and hard because you'll just you'll just strip the thread. It is plastic.